What is going on, guys? Today we are looking at Xavi or Xabi Alonso, the 87 cent mid who is new into the game. He obviously is normally a CDM. We have changed him purposely for chemistry reasons, and he's a freestyle four star. New icon into the game. He has got himself an 87, 89, and a 90, all of them being a CDM and going through his career. So, again, quite an interesting card. I think speculation straight off the bat with him, he is going to be a starter icon and that is it. I feel like his pace just is not enough in this base version. In the mid, we get 72, which is max. So it might be a little bit better. That one's coming in at 307. So once we get up to there, we'll have a look at him. But I just feel like he's going to be too, too off the mark once we get a month or two in and we've got all these specials. Straight away, though, 173,000 coins. I think he is kind of chilling around about the 180 to 190 at the moment. So hopefully we do get him off quite easily. A shadow is 100% recommended for this card just because 67 pace is just not going to cut it straight away. So we get out to 75 as well as 90 defending. We've got good amount of physicals on him. The A184 strength and aggression isn't bad at all. Good amount of stamina. Um, obviously, the composure is fantastic. Agility on the lower side, balance looking good, reactions okay, as well as a bit of ball control and some good passing. So that is, again, what this card's all about. He is a, normally a solid defender, not necessarily pacey, good passing, and just a cool finisher if he does manage to get them long shots. So let's jump straight into him. We've got team player as the only trait. And let's just see what Jabby Alonso could do for us. Away from Jabby Alonso, very nice. Back into Vieri. Good interception as well. Gets the pass off. Also, so far, 100% record for Jabby Alonso in this match. Into Jabby Alonso. Seems nice and collected on the ball, which is always what you want. You're expecting a high level of composure from him and a good amount of passing. It's a good pressure on there. Does win the ball back. But again, we just need to work on giving the ball away a little bit less. Here he is again. Looking for that pass out wide. It's a solid ball into Lodi, who's going to try and go for that overlap. Xabi Alonso just takes it past him. It's a cool little skill move there. Rashford's going to find the ball back. Little one gets the cross. It's solid to Ronaldinho, but unfortunately cannot connect with that header. Xabi Alonso pressure in. It's a beautiful, beautiful overtake on possession just before half time. That's what we need from him. He's been absolutely solid so far. Xabi Alonso. I think the one thing that lets you have a DM that, especially at the start, that necessarily isn't pace orientated is that composure. The composure, the passing is going to be absolutely elite in this game purely for the fact that you need somebody who is very reliable to get that ball from the midfield to the attackers. If you don't have that, you're going to have a, a pretty hard day to be able to consistently get the ball back, get the challenges. That's a good shot. And just manage to kind of almost... It's almost managing the field as such, and that is a very important position. I like to personally have a DM or somebody who is in charge to get the ball out, get it to the either the mids, get it to the forwards, the wingers, what have you, and really play it in there. And Jabby Alonso, Captain Jabby Alonso, is always on call for that one. There it is again. Going to look for that ball across. So far, so good with Jabby's passing. And away from Alonso. Oh, and that's superb defending from Alonso there. So we find a ball through. It's pinched perfect, but it's hit the rear of Vieri. Alonso with the interception. Straight back into things. Just trying to, to get this mess of a strike to attack. Good interception from Jabby Alonso. I think the only thing that, that really is the issue with somebody like a Jabby Alonso, is we know in a month's time is not going to be worth the price that he's saying now. Again, it, it is just an inflation of the game, not necessarily having a crazy amount of packs open. We've barely had the game a week, so we can kind of expect a little bit more of an inflated price. But we know if Jabby Alonso was on the game in gold, he's going to be 10 to 15k at a max at this point. So realistically, you're only paying for a, the nostalgic of a Jabby Alonso that has retired and also the fact that he is an icon. Again, having 
some needs in the game still. They do get their free chemistry bonus still and obviously have multiple effects on Spanish players. So that's always good. But it is an interesting thing to see with the fact that they're not as needed as they were in previous years with obviously the links to players. Xabi Alonso does enough to dispossess and Trent, what are you doing? Lukaku just taking that strength and just using it totally against him. That's what we want to see. Virgil straight through him. Xabi Alonso, cool as ever. Just getting the passes left, right and center. That's what we want from him. Good tackle from Xabi Alonso again. So then going into Xabi Alonso's overall. Honestly, solid performance. He has his DM position, has his CM position. I personally like him sitting in that pocket. Not too much running involved. He doesn't need to get up and down the pitch. Even though he has semi-good stamina. And he has got a little, little bit of pace on him. It's just not enough for him to do that box-to-box -box role, in my opinion. I think the CDM works really well for him. We whack the shadow on him. He gets a good boost in that plus seven of defense. He also gets the 8 in pace. And then having everything else working together. Passing was absolutely exquisite. He was always in the position that we need him to be. Tackling wise was good as well. We've got the 93 stand. We've got a bit of aggression. Good amount of strength. He just works naturally better in almost that. Not necessarily. What is it? Not mobile. Um stationary CDM role is not necessarily needed to to dart absolutely everywhere he can just stay on that line and just stick to that sort of role and just start pinging balls left right and center the only thing like I suggested in the end is is he worth 180,000 coins that is going to be the big question that a lot of people are going to have and like I say with a lot of these icons they are going to be expensive to start with. They're not very packable. We can even see some of the lower ones. We look at a Haji. We know he's not going to be worth 180. But right now, that is the price that you're going for a lot of them. So you are almost paying that little bit of an excess to get them straight off the bat. FIFA's barely been out a week. So it's going to be interesting to see where they actually kind of uh, they hang themselves. Do they go a little bit lower or do they stick to this sort of price? Can we see a Xabi Alonso going for 80,000 coins and then the next couple of weeks because realistically that is where I'd put him I wouldn't necessarily put him anywhere in that high category just purely from that pace alone that is going to be something that will always kill icons and that is just not having pace because we're going to find them players with 85 pace 80 shooting 85 passing the, the same replicated stats just more pace maybe they have a four-star skill as well and can do the job just as good it is just a fact that you get the icon status from him but a new icon into the game we will be trying out all of the versions it's going to be an interesting one to see i don't know if we have a picture for this one I don't know if I've seen the prime one, but we've got a very young Jabby Alonso in his mid. This one, I believe, is kind of from his end of his career, obviously, looking at the baby face to the beard. So that is obviously a normal one. And then we will see what the campaigns say at the end of the game. But right now, I'd give Jabby Alonso... A solid 7 out of 10. I think as we go forward into the game, he's going to be coming quite average. And he'd probably be more of a 5 out of 10. He'll do a job in tackling, but pace is going to get you nowhere. So let me know down below what you think about him. Is there any other icons you'd like to see absolute ASAP? Leave them in the comment section below. And I'll catch you all for the next one. Subscribe. Peace.